Well, it seems like a lot of little things are breaking these days. Today I just discovered that my printer has not been behaving very well. I was just going to print some tax forms. You can see uh, it uh, wasn't printing very well. It got through half the page, made a line, and just looks like crap. And this is the front panel, you know, the push buttons, LCD and stuff. It's, this is a Canon Pixma i6000D, by the way. It's a, actually a very nice printer. It seems to still have reasonable resale value these days. This model was like 10 years old already, out of like a five-year service life, so I guess I can't complain. And it's a hand-me-down besides, so I didn't even buy it myself, so... This is the card that contacts the little spring contacts that are on the thing. I think this was part of a module that was actually replaceable. I think I removed it incorrectly, so uh, not so lucky there. The actual design of this... This thing is fancy. There's a... Uh, it's got this flex construction here, but this actual whatever this integrated thing is here. It looks like it's got... I don't know if I can even... I don't think I can even get close enough to really do it justice. It looks like it's some sort of integrated thing with film and electrodes and stuff on it that's... I su suppose it's either... Uh, I don't know what technology this thing uses, if it was piezo or resistive heat or whatever, but that's the bubble stuff. There's... whatever it is, there's some very fine holes in there that are producing the actual spray of the jet and there's the connections on the back that had some sort of silicone rubber thing on it that the you can see the different colors where the ink came in through and I'm guessing there's this there's this black looking trace here and some other stuff I don't know if that's ink or if that's actually that it burned out but this there's some sort of splotchiness here and a burned spot on the resin here this it definitely didn't survive well something let out the magic smoke so, uh, the construction of this, it looks like there's the ceramic card that the circuit is mounted on, that's probably where the actual stuff is, and then there's this huge ceramic backing with the ink flow and everything, and there's cutouts and stuff, it's gotta be like laser cut or something, it's awesome, but as far as what actually caused it to fail, I don't know, it doesn't look like there's anything else failed. I could probably replace this still, but uh, as long as I've got it open. Obviously I've got the cover off. There's the front panel right here. There's just another side panel over here. There's little flaps on the top cover that open so-and-so for paper and maintenance access and replacing ink and so on. The power supply is a module right here with a cable. The pins are labeled with the voltages and current ratings, which is, which is really cool. This cable, ferrite bead, comes back to here. There's what looks like a ASIC or FPGA or something. It's probably a custom... It's probably a custom Canon part, little BGA in there. That looks like a flash memory and a... probably... SD RAM or something like that underneath. It's going to have integrated USB. It's got the USB connector right here. This is the flex to the front panel. There's going to be motor controllers somewhere, probably just drivers and stuff. There's some inductors and stuff down there somewhere. Probably just power filtering. On the left side, there's uh, this is going to be paper feet or something like that. It's got a very fine encoder wheel on it, so it's definitely precision. There's a... This might be the duplexing mechanism to do two-sided printing, which is very slow. The, the print speed on this was like, uh, if you do a high-quality page two-sided, you'll be waiting about a minute for a single page. So if you wanted to do a lot of printing that's uh, high quality, that's color, that's two-sided, you would be waiting a long time. If you're just doing one-off sheets, it's reasonable speed. It's certainly no 
laser jet in comparison. The actual mechanics, there's a, for the tra traversal, there's a gear belt in here, a, I lost the encoder strip somewhere in here. I don't see this. There's a encoder strip, hard to see, with also very fine markings on it. And it appears to be powered by this motor right here. That's just a, looks like a regular DC motor. There might be some extra connections in there for RPM feedback or something like that. That's pretty standard these days to use a servo motor and a feedback strip stripe to control the position of a printhead. The mechanics overall, I'm sure, are pretty standard. There's gears, shafts, paper up, paper down, traversal side to side. Uh, pretty standard. Build quality looks pretty good. It's, I suppose I'd be disappointed that it's all plastic construction. It's not like metalized plastic or anything, it's all just plastic plastic. So you see little ground wires and ferret beads everywhere to keep the EMC okay. Eh, it's what do you expect. It's going to be cheap for what it is, but it's also going to be nice. It certainly lasted well over time. I suppose I've... If, if I had paid for it, I've got my money out of it. I didn't, but if I had, I certainly would have. Well, I'm afraid this isn't really like a full-on teardown or anything, but uh, thanks for watching in any case. Have fun, and bye bye